because it gets working more in the background. I found that I was having trouble keeping as loose and as kind of brush strokey as I wanted to in the background because that's part of what I like about um, really keeping the focus on the subject in painting like this is loose, really loosening up around it. And so I switched to a bigger brush. Whenever that's happening, whenever you're finding things are feeling too tight, a lot of times go to a bigger brush and things will loosen right back up and that's what I want. I didn't want to use this big inch wide brush on the bird itself because I wanted more control on that but now that I'm getting out around the edges that big brush works really well. Sometimes we get just accidental little splotches of paint that you weren't really even attending. If you like the way it looks, leave it there. You tend to think of watercolor as a, a sort of almost out of control medium where things just happen, but you can you can make the same thing happen with oil and acrylic, and part of the, part of the way to do that is through the looseness that really big brushes give you. Make sure we keep some balance. I've got some reds going on down below there. Let's get some, make sure I've got some other reds up around. The other side. So now I'm gonna go back in and kind of define that branch a little bit fork branch that he's sitting on. At this point I'm just putting on some of the final touches on the painting. Just subtle little things. For instance, you can just barely see where the beak is divided in the upper and lower mandible, so I should see just that. Um, it's just little shadows here and highlights there, but the painting is essentially done. Just making little adjustments. I like, usually like to put a little bit of intense blue in here and there in some of the shadow areas. Anytime you've got sunshine and blue sky, you're going to have some blue where it's picking up that north light and not, not the direct sunlight. Maybe even some of the undersides of the bird. Just adds a little bit of more intense real color to add that bit of blue in. I think that's basically it. Oh, I'll show you show you how I do a quick uh, my signature on wet paint like this when I'm dealing with acrylics or with um, alkyd oils. I'll use a uh, either pencil or pen. I actually use, like to use a ballpoint pen, and it won't write on the wet oil paint, so it acts just as a stylus. And I'll actually just cut through the wet paint. to scratch my signature on. I find it a lot easier than trying to paint my signature with paint on the brush. So that's about it. Might be a couple little touches yet, but it's essentially finished. Hope that's helpful in how to paint a songbird.